Uh, not 100% guarantee you're going to get some of the thunderstorms, but certainly that chance will remain until well after midnight tonight. Uh, and when that does arrive, Liana, we know what a number that can do on travel. Oh, yeah. Travel is always a headache. Granted, what day is today? Tuesday. Tuesday, you know, you can actually kind of uh, not have such a headache flying in and out of airports on a Tuesday, right? It's kind of one of those off days. But... When visibility is fairly low, when the cloud ceilings are low, that does bring in the chance for delays. Now, even though we are seeing slight improvement at Washington, D.C., Reagan Airport, uh, some of the sunshine trying to creep in and uh, bring in a view of that tarmac there. But unfortunately, just like Chris was showing you, we do have that shot for some storms still expecting through this evening. So uh, take a look. Philly, uh, over an hour and a half delay for you. D.C. still sitting at 27-minute delay for you. And across New York City, just over an hour, close to an hour and a half of delays dotted along the landscape. Boston, you've improved. Good for you. You do have a green bubble in store for you, but it wasn't always that way. In fact, Boston, you had 211 delays uh, just a moment ago, just an hour ago, and nationwide we're sitting at 2,500. Cancellations, though, we've been seeing this number slowly go up. Not what you want to hear, right? Uh, 251 nationwide, a decent amount of them in the Northeast, Philly at 58. But taking a look at the nation right now, the Northeast definitely takes the cake. Seattle occasionally has some storms uh, bubbling across the area, bringing in some vicinity, uh, chances for clouds, but really it's just the Northeast as well as the Midwest. And Chris, you know, we're still looking at the chances for some bumpy rides as well. So for those nervous flyers, not what you want to see, especially with this afternoon storms. But, I mean, people really, like, try traveling or at least avoid the afternoon hours to travel, right? I mean, you know, it's, it's a rule of thumb. It's, it's not a guarantee. It's not. But a big reason <laughs> for that, well, a couple reasons for that, first, weather-related, yeah. is the fact that in the afternoons with intensities. Oh, and then we have one more camera for you. This is going to bring us a little bit closer toward the severe weather. North Platte, Nebraska can see kind of an ominous looking sky there into the distance. We've already had reports of some golf ball size hail today west of North Platte. So here's North Platte. You can see that the showers are starting to creep into the area. Then you go immediately west along I-80. Tons of lightning out there. These storms are severe and they are producing some strong winds and also some large hail, golf ball size hail. A couple of reports of that uh, right near I-80 there. So we do have the threat for severe thunderstorms. All have been spotted by somebody on the ground or the uh, radar is indicating some rotation. So just a heads up for people that might not be used to tornado warnings. Maybe you're out here traveling right now. There is going to be the threat of a couple of tornadoes. The Storm Prediction Center for today outlines a marginal slight and enhanced risk here for parts of eastern Colorado. Denver could see a couple of thunderstorms, but it looks like the strongest cells are just going to be off to the east. That is where extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer is going to be chasing, storm chasing this afternoon. So we've gotten into this part of the country. It starts to be all about the heat here. Look at some of the temperatures. Although this looks warm, 90 in Wichita is actually a few steps back compared to where we were this time yesterday. But there's still plenty of heat out there this afternoon. 100 degrees in Houston, Texas. This now makes the sixth day in a row that Houston has had high temperatures of 100 degrees or warmer into Wednesday. Some changes are on the way. Cold front is going to be dropping its way farther south near that boundary tomorrow. There will be some showers and thunderstorms. We'll have to